Hey, it's Doug Hanshart here, and uh, welcome to my uh, latest uh, video here on YouTube. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, made one, and today we're going to talk about wheels, and more importantly, how they're centered onto a, a, a hub assembly. Um, Adam Booth uh, at ABOM79, his YouTube channel, has had a lot of flack lately regarding uh, machining uh, wheel spacers and a couple times uh, brake rotor hats. Um, and worrying about registers and that sort of thing on a wheel. So we're going to talk about that because it uh, bothers me that uh, people are making criticisms of, of his machining when in fact uh, uh, what he's doing is fine. And people do not understand uh, that modern cars, uh, if you call them modern since the 50s, um, do not have a problem with... Uh, these uh, wheels, um, the way they're uh, being uh, used and machined, um, because the engineering of these of these wheels is really simple. It's not rocket science. Um, a wheel is centered by the studs to hold the wheel onto the hub and uh, rotor um, uh, assembly, and we're going to walk through that. Um, so stay tuned. Um, you can uh, follow along on, on why a wheel stays centered why it won't vibrate um, when it's uh, installed properly and what causes um, vibration is uh, more the tire than the steel wheel or an aluminum wheel itself unless they're damaged then of course then you need to replace it but the actual uh, wheel itself is uh, pretty simple it's got some flexibility to it it will stay centered um, and you won't have a problem with it ever so follow along with me with the A-Bomb 79 race car and uh, let's walk through it. Criticized for the way he's machining uh, them and uh, everyone, our large majority of the commentators uh, suggesting that uh, he's ruining the register inside the center of the wheel that could create an imbalance uh, because the wheel is no longer centered around the hub itself. Well, we're going to disprove that for the majority of cars and trucks that are made out there because the wheels that are used in most of your passenger cars, um, high performance race cars, uh, trucks, your everyday half ton, three quarter ton pickups do not use a shoulder centered wheel assembly, not aluminum, not steel uh, at all. They all rely on the lug nuts being conical. And being centered and uh, we've talked about uh, this um, uh, in other uh, forums and uh, news groups regarding automotive um, the only cars that have done a lot of this regarding the centering of a wheel is when they have a center lug nut one in the dead center and then yes that uh, wheel is definitely uh, centered and flanged to the center and held by the nut and all of the centering concentric forces um, that are uh, going to be um, uh, affecting the wheel and its capability of staying um, centered and avoid uh, shaking, vibration, um, wobbling of any kind would be that center nut and the shoulder of that spindle uh, housing in the center. But for most production cars, in fact 99.9% .9 of them, um, that's not the case. It is the studs that hold the wheel center so that I can't wobble up and down side to side. And then of course it's the flange of the, of the hub itself that just simply holds it perpendicular to the spindle itself. That's it, nothing more and nothing less. So let me quickly just show you Now, notice how this wheel is already loose and it can move around. There's no register that's holding that flush against it. If any of these nuts were loose, it would wobble, period. No matter what you do. Each one of those nuts that holds it has a conical shape to it. Simple as that. And that center is based on the stud. And therefore, as long as these holes are exactly 
the exact same radius away from the center of that spindle, this wheel will not fluctuate up or down, will not have a vibration at all. The hub itself simply is a flat surface. Here's something else that will blow your mind. This is a spacer. It is not machined to a specific um, uh, requirement. It is capable of being putting backwards this way. You can put it forwards. It doesn't matter. If you didn't have to have it at all, you're still going against a flat surface. Nothing more. No shoulders. Nothing at all is holding that wheel, the rim, to hold it concentric to the relative to the center of the spindle. If the holes that hold the wheel are not centered, then the wheel is going to be at a round. It will not, it will vibrate and yes, it will wobble both laterally and horizontally and potentially this way because you have not centered the nuts and tightened them down and torqued them correctly. You'll notice that this spacer is bigger than the spindle nut. Its sole function is to space out the wheel farther away from the center of the, the rotor flange. That's it. We use that for an offset to make track width uh, wider on the car and fine tune the setup on a suspension of a race car. Factory cars don't need spacers because they obviously figured out the engineering right from the get go where they want the wheel to be positioned with the correct offset. When you're using aftermarket <coughs> hubs and spindles on a trailer, an RV, um, they take that into account as well. You can use custom wheels and they'll have different offsets. You may need a spacer, you may not, based on the size and the width of the axle. But they're all universal. Nothing is special about these. Simply put it on in any position, doesn't matter. It'll still work. This can move around. Yes, there is a little bit of imbalance that you could induce, but because you're so close to the centrifugal force center of the spindle, you're not going to have any kind of vibration up to well over 100 miles an hour, 100, 110, 120 miles an hour, no problem. And this thing is not going to vibrate being at a round. The wheel itself is nothing special. It's simply got the chamfers to adjust for the nuts. And as long as you have that centered, no big deal. The back side, again, it's just a flat surface that's been uh, stamped in steel. An aluminum wheel is no different, just machine flat. As long as it's perpendicular to the rim of the outside, it'll be square. When you put the wheel on, you'll notice that there is ridges in the stamping of the steel wheel. That is simply for um, the surface um, that mates to the rotor flange, the hub flange, to be flat. It gives it strength. That's why there's the machine or the pressed. Uh, uh, flange that's all to simply give the face of the rim itself a flat surface and stays uh, flat and per uh, parallel to the hub face itself. Nothing more, nothing less. This wheel has movement. I could and do have some offset within the center ring here. It is not perfectly tight to it. You can tell because it has lots of cable of room to move. As soon as I put these nuts on, as long as they're torqued evenly across from each other, you will not have any outer roundness to that rim. In fact, you're going to have <laughs> a bigger problem with the tire itself being out of round than the steel rim. That's guaranteed. Notice the pattern I did, crossing each other diagonally, or opposite really of the stud. 
that's all you're trying to do and then you torque it down with the torque wrench 90 foot pounds in the case of these wheels and nuts once you've done that that wheel is centered if these holes on the rim itself were um, out of whack that means the wheel was damaged or was manufactured incorrectly simple as that these studs are exactly the same distance to the center of that spindle that's what centers the wheel all the time these tires are in fact uh, bias ply they're not steel belted so this is a race tire from a couple years ago and this tire in fact is at around ever so slightly at the top but the rim is not we do check for our rims because we do get damage from collisions crashes that sort of thing if this wheel was uh, wobbling like crazy you'll see it in the rim size then then we'd replace the wheel simple as that generally speaking this flange here does not bend but when we do have an accident or crash yeah it's folded in everything else that rim is done we take these cars up to 120 125 miles an hour no problem no vibrations at all we do not even have to put weights on these cars for balance because we literally change these tires every two to three races um, they just simply wear out they're slicks they're designed for that kind of use and that's it their traction and their ability to have grip just falls off so from the perspective of the centering of the wheel we have lots of space in here you are not shouldered onto it there is no register at all uh, on these wheels and these cap are capable of doing 120 miles an hour if you've got a trailer which is what uh, Adam was machining uh, to create a better off a bigger offset for the trailer using a spacer and he's worried about that wheel or your commentators are then there's a real problem there in understanding the engineering of this because when this wheel's moving and rotating as long as these studs are all again the exact same distance from the center of the spindle all the way around then you're not going to have a problem at all four bolt five bolt six bolt same thing they all are machined and designed from a pattern from the center of the spindle out to the center line of the of where the stud is if the stud is bent then of course you're gonna to have to replace the stud and probably the hub because it's too loose that's it nothing more nothing less so i hope you learned something there give adam a break um what he was doing for the machining on that episode um on saturday night special nothing wrong with what he did he didn't exceed any uh, tolerances or clearance uh, restrictions uh, or weaken the hub itself um, or the spacers that uh, uh, that he's done uh, this episode he did a hub the last time but this is the second time people have said that the centering and the registering um, could be a problem when it is not true. The nuts are conical. That's what centers the wheel onto the studs all the way around. That's what keeps the wheel center, not the spindle, not the uh, hub or the flange of the rotor at all. That simply keeps it flat, perpendicular to the spindle, and that's it. So have a great day. Adam, keep up the great work on Saturday night specials on your uh, machine machining uh, website and um, and on YouTube um, it's always a, a blast watching you talk to you soon